William Pierce Fry September 2, 1830 to August 8, 1911, was an American politician from the state of Maine. Fry, a member of the Republican Party, spent most of his political career as a legislator, serving in the Maine House of Representatives and then U.S. House of Representatives, before being elected to the U.S. Senate, where he served for 30 years, dying in office. Fry was a member of the Fry political family, and was the grandfather of Wallace H. White Jr. and the son of John March Fry. He was also a prominent member of the Pusinian society tradition. Biography Fry was born in Lewiston, Maine, in Androscoggin County. He attended public schools there and graduated from Bowdoin College in Brunswick in 1850. Fry studied law and was later admitted to the bar. He began practicing in Rockland, Maine in 1853 but later returned to Lewiston, and practiced law there. Fry played a role in founding Bates College in Lewiston and served as a longtime trustee of the college. Fry received a LL.D. from Bates in 1881. Fry served in the Maine House of Representatives from 1861 to 1862 and again in 1867. He was later elected as the mayor of Lewiston, holding that position from 1866 to 1867, when he became the state attorney general. Fry left the attorney general post in 1869. He was elected as a Republican in 1870 to the U.S. House of Representatives. Fry served in the 42nd Congress and the five succeeding Congresses from March 4, 1871, to March 17, 1881, when he resigned after being elected senator to fill the vacancy caused by the resignation of James G. Blaine. He served over 30 years in the Senate March 18, 1881 to August 8, 1911, and was re-elected in 1883, 1889, 1895, 1901, and 1907. During his tenure in the Senate, Fry served as its president pro tempore from the 54th 62nd Congress. The vice presidency was vacant twice during that time, November 21, 1899 to March 4, 1901, following the death of Garrett Hobart, and September 14, 1901 to March 4, 1905, after Theodore Roosevelt succeeded to the presidency. Fry resigned as president pro tempore due to ill health a couple of months before his death. Electing his successor proved difficult for the Senate, as the Republicans, then in the majority, were split between progressive and conservative factions, each promoting its own candidate. It took several months for a consensus way forward to emerge. At the time of his resignation he had served longer in that position than anyone else, 15 years, 2 months, 21 days. Fry was also the chairman of the Rules Committee 47th 49th Congress. Fry also was a member of the Commerce Committee 50th 62nd Congress and a member of the commission which met in Paris in September 1898 to adjust the Treaty of Paris between the United States and Spain, ending the Spanish-American War. Fry died in Lewiston in 1911. He is interred in the Riverside Cemetery. The Seine. William P. Fry House near Bates College in Lewiston is on the National Historic Register. See also List of United States Congress members who died in office 1900 William P. Fry a ship named after him